Our next guest just can't leave the past alone. He's done what many of us have wanted to do, resurrected his old Nintendo, and man, has he resurrected it. He's taken an entire gigahertz PC and crammed it into the 18-year-old carcass of an 8-bit Nintendo Entertainment System. Let's say hello to Tim Watson. Tim, it's welcome. Hi. It's good to have you on the show. Thank you very much. First Thanks. of all, is this your old Nintendo? It's not. No, I bought broken ones on eBay. <laughs> old broken Nintendos. Old broken People ones. People sell broken Nintendos on eBay? They sell them by the lot, yeah. Really? Tons of them. How much? Uh, I paid 24 for six of them. Four bucks a piece. Four bucks a piece. <laughs> and you don't care if it's broken because you're going to take the stuff out. Right, as long as it looks good. I'm amazed that people sell broken stuff on eBay. I mean, who wants broken stuff? I do it all the time. I don't know. You sell stuff on people, eBay that's broken? Yeah, people just fix it up and resell it, I guess. Oh, all right. You, but you both buy and sell broken stuff. <laughs> that's true. Why did you do this? Uh, well, I wanted a home theater computer. To oh, and of course, to... the first thing you'd think of is Nintendo. <laughs> well, I didn't want it to be in a computer case. So right. It just made sense. This you could put on your shelf next to your TV, and, and nobody would, would know the better. They think you were a little out of date. Yeah. But you can play video games on it, you can watch movies and play MP3s and all the other good stuff. Tell the truth, though. Really, there's a certain amount of nostalgia, isn't there? There is. That was the big point. Yeah. yeah. In fact, you've made this so we'll play uh, Nintendo games. You can play Nintendo games with emulators, yep. Uh, how, so why don't we do that? Let's see. Can we do that now? This is it yeah. running Windows right now. Yep. You want to see it with the remote? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so you, you're using a, a Philips remote, one of those uh, LCD remotes, so yep. you can start okay. the Nintendo emulator. Which one are you using? The emulator is called Nestron. That's a pretty good emulator? It's the best one I found, I'm yeah, sorry, just... you probably need to push more buttons, don't you? Or oh, yeah. It... I took it away from you as you were about to... Yeah, you had to open there. Oh, so that's kind just... of acts as a mouse. Yep. You've also set it up so that you have a wireless infrared keyboard, so you can do that. Yep, with a built-in mouse, actually, so that you don't have to have a clunky old mouse sitting on your coffee table. And I love like this. So. You kept the old controllers. You yep. could use a, a, a modern joystick. Yeah, you can use any controller. But you but... really want... That... Was this hard to get working? Not really, no. You just buy an old uh, parallel port cable from Radio Shack or from anywhere. So these are parallel devices. Right, yep. There's all sorts of drivers that you can download. To and do look it. at this. We're playing Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, I'm not sure which There's something kind of weird about doing this, though, on a Nintendo with a PC inside that's playing Nintendo games. Yeah. That's very funny. In fact, it does a better job of emulating than, uh, than the Nintendo itself. This actually looks pretty darn good. Yeah, it doesn't skip. It Go doesn't ahead, get play that. a little bit. I want to see. It doesn't I want to get see that blue screen. It doesn't do anything bad, so... But you could do everything else you could do in Windows. Yeah. What version of Windows are you running? This is 98, and 98. I did that just because, uh, you know, to save on processing power and stuff. But but you have enough processor in here. You got a gigahertz chip? Yep, and a 512 megs of RAM. And All right, let's shut it down and take it apart. I want to see what's I want to see what's inside of it. All right. Sorry, Mario. Bye, bye, Mario. Just unplug it there. <laughs> I love this. And, and, and here's the guts. We're going to remove the uh, power supply cable so we can... You really... Did you have to uh, modify the motherboard or anything else to get this to work? The motherboard, no. Uh, this is one of those mini ITX motherboards? Right. It's six and a half inches by six and a half inches. So it just happens to fit perfectly in this It fits thing. absolutely perfectly, yeah. And then... So there, this is the motherboard down here. And then this is the hard drive? This is the, the hard drive. It's a laptop hard drive with an adapter to okay. make it work with the desktop motherboard. Right. right. Uh, this is the DVD drive. Oh, cool. Yeah, so you didn't yeah. just put a CD drive in there. You put a DVD. That's right. It's your home entertainment. you got to go all the way. Yep. yep. Okay. And this is the power supply, of course, which fits perfectly in there. So what kind, is That's not a PC power supply. Where is it? It is, yeah. It's called an Enhance. Uh, it's 90 watts. Uh, which so it's is, a which small power supply, but you don't want right. to have a lot of juice in here because of, of cooling issues, right? Exactly, yeah. 90 is more than you, ne you ever need, so it works fine. You didn't use a Pentium in here? No. Why not? Uh, heat problems mostly. Okay. And so what, the, the boards are really expensive for the Pentium. Are they? Chips, yeah. What, what, what chip did you use in here? This is the Via chipset. Okay. Uh, Via chipset and Via processor. Yep, exactly. Okay. Which processor? The this the giga, one, this is the one gigahertz. One, one gig. Okay. And uh, and how big of a hard drive is that? Twenty gig. Twenty gig. It's really kind of a, a laptop basically in here. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, it's got a desktop motherboard, but what a lot of people are doing now is putting in really small hard drives, like six gigs, mm -hmm. and just getting all their media from a network. Absolutely. Network, so. Does this have a network built into it? Yeah, it's got Ethernet. It's got S-Video output, so you can play it on your TV, just like your regular Nintendo. So you would watch your DVD movies on this as well? Mm -hmm. And does it have, what kind of sound does it have coming out of it? Um, either stereo with the regular jack, or it's got 5.1. You got 5.1? Digital audio. Was that output, a feature yeah. of the motherboard, or did you add a 5.1 sound card? That's in the motherboard, yeah. It there's, is. Well, there's that's not really room in there to add anything else. No. It's not on the motherboard. So. Now, here's the cool things, folks. He's going to sell this one. Yep. How much do you? How much is it going for right now? Uh, last I checked, it was on eBay. It's uh, about two fifteen, but that was a couple hours ago. I don't what know should they? What now. should they uh, search for if they want to buy it? Uh, there it is. Yeah, there what, it is. It looks, looks like, like NES PC or NES computer. That'd be enough to search for. Or screensavers. Screen you know what we could do, and we should, you should ask your uh, your top bidder. But 
Patrick and I could autograph it. Yoshi could autograph it. Kevin, Jessica. We'll just put we'll put our you know if you want. Right. No, we'll I, get a, I promised some pictures already. All so right. Okay. okay. So pictures. if you want, we can autograph the inside. If you don't want anybody to know, we've autographed it. Your ultimate home entertainment system. Are you going to build another one for yourself now that you're selling this one? Trying on? to decide. Seeing how much I get for that one. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I'm, you could have a whole business. On. This is my third one, so I want to move on to my next project. But. Oh, so you already have one on your desk that or on your uh, computer, uh, home entertainment center? Right? No, I don't. You don't. No. Oh, well, what are you going to do next? What's your next project? Uh, I want to build a front screen projector, actually. You take your own front screen projector? My own front screen projector. Out of what? Yeah. LCD panels? or LCD panels and a couple of lenses that I rip out of other places. And <laughs> you got to come big, back to them and show us that. Balls. If you do that, that's a great, uh, that's a great project. Back, definitely. Your website is junkmachine.com. Junkmachine.com slash Nintendo is the Nintendo site. Uh, it's linked from the main site, too. So. And you probably can get to the eBay auction from there as well, right? Yeah, yeah. and from your website as or well. From, so. Or from a screen center. Tim, I'm impressed. Thank and you. What a great, I think this is a great mod. Look how small it is. And it's a home entertainment center. You'd never know, yeah. Awesome. Tim Watson at junkmachine.com, folks. Go check it out, and we'll give, you a, we'll give you an autographed version, but let's get that bidding up. I want, I want you to make a little money on this. I would love to make How a little money. How much money did you put into it, just out of curiosity? Uh, for less than 500 about 475 Well, we got to get over 217 You can't lose money on this. Yeah, we can't lose money. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Thank to you. find out the differences between NES PC version 1, 2, and the one we've got here, the top of the line 3, and the link to the box is uh, online auction. Check out the screensavers.com.